Um, as you can see, I put the initial stage. We are we are at the front of their learning. We, before any student actually learns anything in a classroom, we're the first person to decide what they're going to study. So we're the initial stage of that learning process. Again, as you quite nicely pointed out, we have an awareness of possible areas to focus on. So problem areas, areas they need to be more aware of. Uh, we also have as I've put it here, it links our grammar and our, our language items, so our vocabulary and our grammar, and it actually puts them together so that our learners can use them effectively. Uh, as I put there, it considers not just singular items, it considers collocations, fixed phrases, which are an important aspect of English language and any language. The second to last one, it links, it's linked to intelligibility. So actually understanding the listener. The more we can make them understood, the more autonomous they become. And that is a very important link between pronunciation and learner autonomy. They can tell us their problems, their needs. They can go outside of the classroom and study. They know exactly how to actually give us that information. So intelligibility autonomy very important okay an example for us it's Monday morning okay Monday morning now in my case 9 a.m. Monday morning first class okay they've just come back what's a common question you would ask Monday morning 9 o'clock okay what did you do at the weekend now that's a great one but all I'd like you to do with your partner, I am going to give you 30 seconds again. I'm sorry, not 45. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you 30 seconds again to actually come up with other ways of saying the same question. So let's think about it. What did you do at the weekend? A very general question. I just want to find out something. All I'd like you to do is come up with other ways. Paraphrase the question. Again, general question, though, not specific, general. Okay, 30 seconds, go. Okay. Now, hopefully, you came up with more options for asking the same question. And that's actually a very important part of the language process, being able to come up with these other examples, not just a singular question. And here, I've got some examples here on the board. Hopefully, you can read them OK. Um, here's our first question. What did you do at the weekend? A very common question as well. Maybe you came up with this one. OK. Uh, now, a favorite of mine is this one, if I just use the pointer. Okay, there we are. That's a nice one as well. Um, this is the same question. I'm sorry it's repeated for a reason. Okay, we've got various items that we can look at. And we're going to come back to those in a moment. And we're thinking not only from a pronunciation aspect, but because we're linking it together in our lesson, we're looking at it as language and pronunciation. So first of all, what can we do with it? Well, language. So our first step, our natural first step, is to look at the words. 